hey guys today we are going to discuss our new topic which is gastrulation right so in this topic we are going to discuss how the gastrula is formed right so let's get started first of all in the gastrulation there is fertilization occur so sperm and egg get fertilized right sperm and egg get fertilized by the process of fertilization leads to the formation of zygote after the 24 hours of fertilization it leads to cleavage which is two cell stage two cell stage is preceded by four cell stage and four cell stage is preceded by eight cell stage eight cell stage right after that the formation of morula occur so morula is a cluster of about 100 cell this is morula and it is cluster of about 100 cells after that morula is preceded by blastula this is blastula and this is trophoblast this outer layer is trophoblast this is inner mast cell right this is trophoblast this cavity known as blastocele this is inner mast cell right and blastula the blastula is formed by the process of blastulation further the blastula is preceded by early gastrula early gastrula is two layers that is it has two germ layers it has invagination the inner one is endoderm this is endoderm layer and the outer one is ectoderm right this is early gastrula early gastrula leads to late gastrula both are same but uh, difference is that Early gastrula has two germ layers, but the late gastrula has three germ layers. This is mesoderm layer. Middle one is mesoderm layer, and the inner one is endoderm layer. This is ectoderm layer, mesoderm layer. and this is endoderm layer this is late gastrula and the process by which gastrula form is known as this is known as gastrulation right from the blastula to late gastrula right this is formed by the process of gastrulation so while we studying gastrula one question come comes in our mind that what is the need of gastrulation right so uh, as we have different orga organs or different systems in our body so how they develop they develop through these three germ layers so ectoderm develop most of the outer layers in our body right uh, for example it develop nervous system cornea and lens of eye skin epidermis etc right 
ectoderm uh, and mesoderm develop most of the system in our body mesoderm as its name uh, indicates that means inner layer it develops most of the system in our body right for example muscular system excretory system right respiratory system notochord meso and endoderm right endoderm is the most innermost right uh, mesoderm layer middle and this is the most innermost layer it develops most of the organs in our body for example liver pancreas thymus right so uh, it, this is uh, in early gastrula and late gastrula right the early gastrula form in uh, in all the organism except uh, human beings or vertebrates but the least gastrula is formed in case of human beings and body breeds arthropod mollusks and echinoderms so while studying gastrula there is two terms comes in our mind that is protostomus protostomus and deuterostomus protostomus is the uh, term which is used when the blastopore develop into mouth right when this blastopore develop into mouth it is known as protostomus this this is occur in case of annelid insects centipedes nematode etc right but deuterostomus in case of deuterostomus blastopore uh, develop into anus this term is used in case of humans so these two terms are very important uh, while we studying gastrulation so this is all about gastrulation thank you